Roman Kostomarov, the 2006 Turin Olympic champion with Tatyana Nevka, woke up after 14 days in a medically induced coma. Doctors disconnected the skater from the ECMO machine, which artificially kept him alive by saturating his blood with oxygen. His wife, Olympic medalist Oksana Domnina, was already admitted to his room, but it was too early to say how long it would take to recover as the body had suffered serious damage. According to Match TV, on the morning of January 24, Roman Kostomarov began to gradually regain consciousness after 14 days without consciousness. At lunchtime, TASS reported that Kostomarov woke up. Roman was disconnected from ECMO. So far, no one is allowed in the room, except the closest relatives. And even they are almost always denied, a source told the agency. The dynamics are positive, but it is too early to talk about prognoses of recovery. It is reported that Kostomarov still has a high fever and that the athlete's body is experiencing serious problems, pneumonia caused him a lot of damage. Recovery from the illness is expected to take a long time. Tatiana Tarasova, an honorary coach of the USSR, confirmed the information about small improvements in Kostomarov's condition. Roman was disconnected from ECMO and let his wife into his room, Tarasova told RIA Novosti. According to REN TV, Kostomarov even gained the strength to start talking to his loved ones. The channel source said that the percentage of lung damage in the figure skater has decreased, and the swelling has subsided. However, the athlete continues to be administered sleeping pills to make the body recover faster. Sergei Puryasev, a pulmonologist of the highest category, explained what the doctor's decision to disconnect the skater from ECMO means. It's wonderful that Kostomarov decided to be disconnected from the machine. This means that there is no longer a need to pump blood with oxygen using a special machine. The lungs will oxygenate themselves, saturating the blood with oxygen, Puryasev told Woman.ru. Earlier on the NTV channel Tarasova reported the details of the Olympic champion's illness. He caught a cold, there was pneumonia, but some kind of infection joined, which together with this gave such nightmarish consequences. This agrees with the words of Margarita Orlina, a bacteriologist, candidate of biological sciences, who reconstructed Kostomarov's medical history. Most likely, Roman had been feeling ill for a long time, fever, shortness of breath, sweating, weakness, headache, running nose. He might have thought it was an acute respiratory infection. But either he ignored these symptoms, or prescribed himself antibiotics, which turned out to be ineffective in this situation. Absence of proper treatment resulted in pulmonary edema, bilateral hydrothorax, which made it very difficult for the athlete to breathe. And then viruses and bacteria spread throughout the body with the bloodstream and sepsis began. The doctor said in a comment to the portal prosvade.info. TV host Lyra Kudryovtseva even said that Kostomarov allegedly continued to perform at ice shows with a high fever. I talked to Yevgeny Plushenko three days ago. I don't know what information, reliable or not, but he said that Kostomarov skated two shows with a temperature of 38.5, Kudryovtseva said on the Stars Come Together program. Recall that in January, Kostomarov performed the title role in Ilya Verbuk's ice performance The Wizard of Oz, and also performed on outdoor rinks at minus 20 degrees as part of the Project Winter in the Moscow region. On January 10, the Olympic champion was rushed to the intensive care unit where he was put into a medically induced coma. Doctors diagnosed him with pneumonia and influenza type B. The complications of the disease led to sepsis, blood poisoning, and bilateral hydrothorax, an accumulation of fluid in the lungs, which prevented the athlete from breathing normally. All this time the doctors were keeping Kostomarov alive artificially, he was hooked up to a ventilator and ECMO, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. As Margarita Orlina, a bacteriologist, explained, without the use of ECMO, the figure skater faced a rapid death due to brain hypoxia. Patients are usually connected to the ECMO machine when the partial pressure of oxygen in the blood decreases sharply and when the lungs are more than 75% affected, 
Tatiana Tarasova, an honorary coach of the USSR in figure skating, commented on the news that the Italian Federation was not against Daniel Grassl training in a Terry Tutbridge's group in Moscow. It is clear that the Italian Federation was not against it, the Federation paid him for this training camp, Tass quoted Tarasova as saying. Grassl arrived in Moscow on January 5, which was immediately reported on social media by Tutbridge's student Arseny Fedotov, posting a photo with Daniel from Krustelny. Together with Tutberids he was preparing for the European Figure Skating Championship 2023, which will take place from 25 to 29 of January in Espo. Previously, Grassel parted ways with his coach Lorenzo Magri after an unsuccessful performance at the Italian Championships, where he failed to win a medal. Figure skater Daniel Grassel spoke out about the doping case of Russian figure skater Camilla Voliva. I think the coach had nothing to do with it, Italian edition Renews quoted Grassel as saying. The skater also responded to questions about the fact that he was preparing for the European Championships in the group of Oteri Tutbirds and arrived at the tournament with Daniil Glekanaus and Sergei Dudikov. Sport is not politics, the Italian edition of Renews quoted Grassel as saying. Olympic champion Anna Skrbakova and her social network shared cute pictures with her pet. Recall that in August, 18-year-old Anna Skrbakova was operated in Germany due to a torn posterior meniscus horn. The athlete returned to training and also debuted as a presenter on the TV show Ice Age. At the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing, which took place in February, Anna Skrbakova finished second and third, respectively, ahead of compatriot Alexandra Trusova and Kaori Sakamoto of Japan. Camilla Voliva of Russia finished fourth in the tournament, after becoming Olympic champion in the team event. Anna Skrbakova was nominated for the ISU Skating Awards in the category Most Valuable Skater. Anton Sikorulidze, 2002 Olympic champion and head of the St. Petersburg Figure Skating Federation, commented on the prospects of Alexandra Trusova. Do you understand what's going on with Trusova now? It's not the first time in our sport, after a successful Olympic season the girl is a little bit lost. However, the color shouldn't be exaggerated. Trusova is a very talented player. If she can pull herself together at the beginning of the next season and stick to a strict training plan she'll be back in the ring of the world figure skating. Do you believe that Trusova will restore her quadruple jumps? I do, if she works the way she did before she won't have any problems with the quadruple jumps. And she changed coaches again. It is difficult to judge these things from the outside. If a skater and his entourage decide to change coaching staff, there must be a good reason for it. I can say one thing, I have no doubts about Svetlana Sokolovska's professionalism. By the way, did you ever talk to Daddy Trusova? Yes. They say she is a difficult person. It did not seem so to me. The conversation was always calm, I did not notice anything extraordinary. Of course, like any father, he is very worried about his daughter, he thinks about her fate. That's normal, said Sikorulidze.